This is going to be personal chat, Wednesday, September 19th, 2012, 1.33 a.m. So, I got myself a glass of wine and a bottle of Caveat Collection No. 2010, a $10 bottle of wine. So-so. Uh, it's a middle way I like. It's not, uh, it's drinkable. And I'm going to be smoking, so I'm just tired. Um, there's a obvious, uh, I guess, a campaign progress video that I need to upload that uh, was done a while ago. Well, not a while ago, but a couple of hours ago. In my car, off my droid phone. Uh, because I was concerned that the electricity would go out because we had a tornado warning around here and there was a chance of a big storm, but it might have been already, already passed. And I uh, have yeah, a video, the interview that I did with uh, my friend Kevin, who is a veteran of the United States uh, Navy, uh, uploaded, but uh, he needs to review it. So if he's not comfortable with it, then I don't want to show it. But I think I think it's terrific. I think it's going to be a wonderful video, a wonderful interview, to give a little bit insight and a little bit of information about him, what he did, his experience with it. It's not necessarily a promotional video. And there are some disclaimers that once you see it, you will see that there's some disclaimers that I've learned something from the video that I did with uh, the, what's his name, Jason, the man behind uh, one of the, the one of the people behind the organization Visible Children and all that rubbish uh, nonsense. Um, not. <laughs> it being rubbish nonsense, but the video of that uh, brought on a lot of rubbish nonsense through the commentary, through all the comments. It was just um, fruitless. It, without, it was without any real value, not necessarily all of the comments, but the vile, hateful ones. They were, uh, they were without a merit, yet they had some educational foundation to them. They had some sort of idea of this all these facts but what did the people who wrote down all these things do because if they did anything they would not have all this time to write such hate and such vile and vicious uh, I can't I can I can only I can only resort it more than necessarily so I can I can only title it or frame it to just simply that of commentary. Uh, I might have said this before, but I think uh, or someone might have said that to me and now I'm saying it to somebody else. It's a funny thing. Um, well, we have too many critics in our society. It's very easy to be critical of somebody or very opinionated about something or somebody or anything really but um, you need to have some kind of merit behind those words something some kind of something anything really but just simply uh, somebody finding some information some there 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 all through the internet is not necessarily I mean it can but it does not necessarily um, I don't want to talk about this. I want to just relax. But I just wanted to make a point um, that there will be a disclaimer that hopefully will deter a certain type of a person. Not a certain type of person, but just, I guess they're just so broken. Like, life shit on them. Society shit on them. The government shit on them. The family shit on them. So, all they know is this vile and vicious ton. So, can't blame them. At the same time, it's kind of like that idea of this internet troll, this person who would sit on the computer 24-7 possibly or from time to time. And, and the purpose of that person's, for, that per for the entertainment of that person, he would simply just um, begin an argument with no with no real intent to resolve on a conclusion 
or to even end it with let's agree to disagree and a lot of arguments it seems like on the internet they end with and pardon my vulgarity but in the end it seems to be to end like you know, shut up you're an idiot I'm right you're wrong go F yourself not necessarily all the time but sometimes it's, it's or not necessarily sometimes but I think it's it's, it's just a little bit too common and I, and I have faith in the internet I mean in the community in general that it's just simply a matter of time um, that it internally through various systems and through moderation through, I mean literally moderation forum moderation me me message board moderation the mods the moderators who sit there and review certain certain discussions and certain comments uh, especially in my case where I you know, I reply to all my comments and uh, there are there have been some discussions among among people through my videos so that would necessarily make me a moderator of of this and it would be on my uh, on my shoulders to make sure that um, make sure that things are kept reasonable and safe not necessarily safe but with reason it's something that just, I guess I think personally it will just come to I will have a better answer and better solution to it through through more experience of it it's just simply a matter of experience It's nice that I've set my course on this path because I haven't really given it much thought. But uh, maintaining the internet, not uh, I guess more or less the way it is now, is of great concern to me. But yet I have no real uh, plan to have a political message on it or to even give my own thoughts on it. Um, and quite frankly, it is because the position does not necessarily, the position I'm running for does not deal with it uh, directly. Something like that, the federal government is res responsible for or is in charge of regulating, legislating, etc. The state individually does not have uh, jurisdiction. Uh, it does and it doesn't over the internet. I mean, in some cases it does when you have. Um, uh, <laughs> I want to keep things simple and personal. I don't want to get into all this serious talk. Uh, quite today has been an exhausting day. Uh, quite exciting, though. Exhausting. It's 1.41 a.m. I got out of my home at maybe 9 a.m. So now I'm finally back. But I did stop by home for 30 minutes to change. And I paid off a parking ticket that I had. Uh, it was past due. And I was fortunate that they did not um, issue me a penalty for not paying it on time. So, And because I paid online, there's a $1 convenience fee. Whatever. That's, that's something like this is something I actually can do about it. This is, I mean, it's, it's something I can actually correct or resolve. I, I don't know why I should pay one dollar extra for paying it online. It would actually cost me more money to physically go. I have to sit in my car, I have to drive somewhere, I have to park my car. In about 30 minutes of time that's going to take me. I have to go up the steps into the, uh, up the steps into the elevator go up into the second floor, the third floor. If there's a line, there's a line. If there isn't, I need to settle it there. And then, and then go back down the elevator, down the steps into my car, drive back home altogether. I think it should take about 30 minutes of my time. And if the minimum wage is 725 in the state of New Jersey, I think it's 725, or is it 925? I don't know. Uh, half an hour, about three, four dollars.
Oh, I got something very exciting. I have this thing. It's an SD card. I got it a while ago. I mean, this has been around for a while. I'm sure everybody's familiar with something like this. But I finally got to use it today. I got it a while ago, and I have plans to use it for something. But uh, I just never got around to picking it up and opening up the box. But I used it today because uh, Oleg's and Kevin's cam oh, Kevin's camera uses SD cards for memory which is very convenient and I'm fortunate that the netbook I'm on, the netbook I purchased uh, two years ago has a slot for SD cards. This is just a stock. We keep it in there so it keeps the whole uh, it keeps the whole kind of mm, filled so I guess things can get in there and mess, up, mess it up. Um, so I got to use it because I didn't want to bother using theirs because we I used their camera today for an interview, and we just put it on here, and Oleg edited it out, and then he, well, it's uploading through his computer because it's quite late, and I would have taken about an hour to transfer the file over. Um, it's something with video work. If anybody's involved in video work or will get involved in video work, uh, at some point it will be very important for you to, to really consider, and at some point you will need to invest into. I mean. It takes time for data from this thing to go into my computer, especially data that's in gigabytes. Uh, video files are usually in the gigabytes. Um, so that's important. You know, when you have a, consider a hard drive, certain hard drives have certain data transfer rates. Um, the new hard drives, the solid state hard drives, which don't have a, a spinning a spinning thing, which the, the traditional desktop hard drives do. Um, it, the solid state operates much faster because it doesn't have to rely on, on, a, on a mechanism. It's just, I guess, all digital. It's, I guess, in, in a fashion like this, there's nothing moving. There's no moving parts. I might have explained that mm, probably in the wrong way. Mm. And different wires make different things. For instance, um, this wire I use. This is just a standard USB wire with a mini or a mic. Yeah, I think it's, this is a mini USB. But this is a wire that I use to transfer my uh, my files off my cell phone, the Droid. And then before that, I was using the BlackBerry. It's the same wire. Um, this wire is quite universal. It's probably used everywhere in the world. Uh, there seems to be there's only two types of standards these days. This type of wire, and then you have the Apple products, which have their own wire. Uh, so Motorola, Google, uh, Motorola, I think Google, HP, uh, not HP, at least I wanted to say Logitech, uh, Samsung, um, there's some other cell phone companies out there, cell phone manufacturers, I'm sorry. They use, they kind of agreed on this universal standard to make it easier for everybody. And that makes sense. It's kind of, they made it out of self-governance. They didn't need a law to tell them they need to do that. Or maybe they did, I don't know. But I think they did it of their own accord. Yes, there might have been some sort of a council that agreed on it because then, you know, they're probably getting this wire from the same factory in China. I don't know if anybody's aware, there's a company called Foxconn. And Foxconn is responsible for manufacturing Xboxes, PS3s, Apple products, and, um, you know, that's three different companies, Apple, Sony, and Microsoft. And they use the same factory to, to manufacture, I mean, the same uh, company of factories. I don't know if it's necessarily the same exact factory manufacturing all those products, um, but they're based off China, and they do have uh, factories set up in South America. I know that, and maybe of parts of, parts of around India, I assume. And, uh, personally, I don't believe that that is a free market system where you can have uh, somebody in China do something that would take here to do in the United States. Um, you know, if it takes something to do, if it's if it's if it costs a hundred dollars to produce something in the United States, and you can have it produced in China for ten dollars, I don't believe that's free market. Because all that happens is you're just exploiting the weakness of the government because the government just seems just simply avoids the issue of 
maybe we should have some sort of guidelines on how much money people make and their conditions that they're working in. Um, I would imagine some, a thing like a union would be something that does not exist in China. And uh, it's a plus and a negative. I believe that the union in the United States has simply gone out of control. Um, they began with a great mission and they accomplished their mission. But they don't want to leave. They have a position of power in government and they have a position of power in, in the economy and they don't want to leave. Their mission was, uh, there were points, there were parts in American history where, uh, think of like a fire escape. You had factories where people worked and fires broke out or they needed to escape because a certain chemical was spilt out and the air was contaminated and they needed to escape otherwise they would suffocate or die from this chemical that's in the air. And uh, what was happening was you had foremen, you had managers and owners when the factory was working, they would close the doors so the people would stay in there and work and never, never leave. And there was a fire. There was a couple of fires where the people burned down because uh, somebody in charge decided to lock all the doors so the employees, the workers would not leave and work. And uh, from that came the idea of a fire escape that uh, must be always accessible. Uh, I think that had a, the union had to do something with that. Uh, child laboring when you had, um, again, in American history, it was very popular to use uh, little girls. It, uh, little girls were better than little boys because they have, were smaller. And you would send out the little girl with dynamite on her back, and she would go into a mine shaft, a very, very narrow mine shaft that an adult would not be able to fit. And she would place uh, this dynamite inside, and then she would run along somewhere else and hide and hope that she does not blow up hope that you know the explosion does not cause a cave-in in which case wherever she's hiding the dirt the rock just collapses on top of her and ultimately crushes her or if not crushes her to death she would be stuck there unable to move and with very little oxygen left if any and just simply suffocate it's terrible but it, that's the real reality I learned about that in woman's history um, minimum wage when you had factory workers who were making pennies mm, yeah, or, or a few dollars a day uh, they pushed on they pushed their agenda to create what we have today in American society we have a minimum wage every state has its own minimum wage value where it is against the law to hire somebody and pay them less than that value Again, the federal system on top of that has its own minimum wage system value and the states simply just have a value higher than the federal system. And that's the law is that uh, you cannot have it lower than the federal uh, minimum wage system. And the reason that some states have it higher than other states is it has to do with um, well, the quality of life and also at the same time if a certain state has the minimum wage of let's say fifteen dollars an hour the other people from different states would want to migrate uh, and move their residents to that state so they can get a job there where they can make more money than the state that they're living in um, I kind of wanted this to be a personal chat, but there hasn't been anything personal. It's just been all in this this, this information. <laughs> uh, so personal, personal, personal. Um, well, 
I get to see my ex my ex girlfriend soon, so I'm kind of looking forward to that, catching up with her, getting a hug. Um, see how she's doing in life. It's important. Hmm. I'm gonna see Dr. Dr. Meyer. Uh, I should call him tomorrow and see if he could meet me for coffee. And uh, I just want to share some ideas with him and see what he thinks about all this. I think he's a very wise person. It's in my mind, just give me a moment. I'm trying to remember something important. Hmm. Oh, I did not get to see my or speak to my mother today. It's gonna be on have to be on Thursday. Because they got back late and I was busy. And uh, it just it would be too complicated. Charlie vomited here. Fortunately, he didn't vomit on any of the papers. So I'm happy. I'll clean it up tomorrow, though. I'm happy I did the taxes. I feel much better. Well, at least I have an idea. Uh, I still need to do uh, the, the, the couple, uh, number of years I need to do by myself on the internet. But I have the format and then the, the understanding of how to do it, what I need to put where and how, and blah, 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 blah. But I found out I owe some money. It's okay, not too much. Last year I, I, I would have received $137 or something along those lines. But this year I owe $400 or $300. And that's including the penalty. The penalties for not filing the tax on time. And uh, every day there's an interest. It's a very low interest, but it's probably like a few pennies a day it goes up. So. But still, I need to pay for. I need to figure out my ta state tax for 2010, and then I need to do my 2009 eight seven six five four for federal and state, and then that'll give me an understanding of um, uh, how much I owe or how much they owe me, and hopefully it'll balance out. But I don't think I, if anything, I should owe more than thousand dollars, which is pretty reasonable if I do. Um, I'm concerned about my business license, though, that I had in 2010 that I operated under for a few months. There might be some penalties for that, for not filing it, for neglecting it, for not. There might be some penalties of a couple of hundred dollars. Because I remember it cost me about $150 to get it. Oh, what I wanted to talk about something personal. So, I have somebody named Dwayne. I've been gaming with him for about a number of years. And he has a girlfriend named the Rose. And he's been gaming with a person by the name of Sean, who has an alias as Rink. And from time to time I have given it some thought to see try to kinda of talk to Dwayne because he kind of sits home and plays video games for about 12, 14 hours a day. And I'm very familiar with that. And it's very hard to get out of something like that. Life is overwhelming. Life sucks. You don't want to do anything. You're suffering depression, etc., etc., etc. It's just like being a her. I, I person look at it as simply just being like a heroin addict. You're just no different than being a drug addict. All it is is just you're in a safer environment. And you're not as much harm as being committed against you. You're sitting at home, it's comfortable, 
you might be warm or cold, you have a little bit of food, and you have a computer, and you just go with the game you're playing for 12, 14 hours, and the time just like that. Uh, so I'm concerned about him because, well, the reality is um, he does have a girlfriend right now, and she works, and so she kind of takes care of him, which is okay. I'm not, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. What I'm concerned about that is uh, what happens when his girlfriend says to herself, you know what, I want something more out of life. Or, 10 years later, he's still doing the exact same thing. It's just not that anyway, everybody can do what they want to do. Uh, I'm not here to impose on anybody, but uh, I just, being my, you know, being aware that I found myself in life in those types of situations where I've just been gaming nonstop to escape. Um, well, that's just that. I, that's what I suspect. It's just simply that. And, um, like being an alcoholic, the first, the first step in understanding and how to recover from, an al from alcoholism uh, or any other drug, really, is to admit to yourself honestly, internally, not necessarily you're going to tell somebody about this, I mean, you can if you want to, but to yourself, you admit to yourself that you have a problem with this, that there is a problem, because if you cannot see that there is a problem or understand that there's a problem, you can never fix the problem. And it's, um, it's like a little bit it has to do with when there was a time in uh, world history when you had people that believed that um, the earth the earth was the center of the universe and that if the ship were to sail across the ocean the ship would fall down because everything is flat um, like a waterfall that's what they used to believe and it's very believable when you don't really know geography and world you know world geography and you don't know that there's this ball that exists in space and it rotates around the sun based on what some of the scientists have done based off what they observe in the the patterns in the stars when the earth moves they notice that the star isn't still in the same location but the earth moves and they create this trajectory and it's quite complicated I know very little of it since we've been, I can't not even prepare to to talk. And, yeah, I can't even really talk about this, but it's something along those lines. So I spoke to him, and I kind of told him all this, and he told me that you know what, he's happy. He's happy with what he's doing. He's happy with how he lives, and he does not want anything more. And that not necessarily breaks my heart, but that even that very that uh, to just furthers my concerns. Uh, yeah, I don't expect him to or, or want him to. Uh, maybe I, I would like him. To, I would like him to do something great with his life, but uh, but just for him to do anything with his life would be sufficient um, anything really because what you would just think that this video game I mean it's understandable when you're young or whatever you, you, or whatever or even even now it's whatever because you sit down you play for a little bit you're tired you want to relax and wind whatever play nothing wrong with it just like uh, you know I'm drinking wine right now. I'm not gonna wake up tomorrow, tomorrow morning and drink a bottle of vodka, and then come come noon time I'm gonna drink another bottle of vodka. That's that's something. 
That's something else. I guess the word moderation would apply, but it's not even that. It's just simply understanding why you would be doing something like that internally. Uh, like uh, a day yesterday, I think last night, I started, I downloaded, um, oh, I purchased two movies. Uh, one one was by the title of Hysteria, and I started watching it, and it was quite entertaining, but then halfway into it, I got bored, or I got tired, and wanted to go to sleep, and I went to sleep. Um, but I, you know, I, I, I got it to watch it because I just wanted to relax. I thought to myself, you know what, I've been kind of working hard here, I just want to do something for me, relax, just see someone, see some art, because this movie was quite artsy. In film and movies, they are forms of art. And I'm drawn to that. I like that. I'm attracted to it. It's, it's very appealing to me. The characters, the acting, the dialogue, the story, the, the costumes, the settings, etc. I'm, I'm all into that. I don't know what to quite do with that situation. I mean, I know that that's all within him, but my question is to myself, is what I can do. Um, I mean, I told him when, if he ever needs to talk about anything that I'm willing to talk to him, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that's enough. I believe that there's something else that I could do. I mean, is it possible that I could sit here and, and sequence the letters in a certain way to create some sort of a statement and tell him that statement with a certain tone? But then again, if he's just going to be playing a game while I'm speaking to him, kind of like the situation I had. When I was um, 21, 22, where I was sitting at home playing 12, 14 hours a day, and I had a girlfriend at the time, and some people came by, tried to help me, and I was completely oblivious that all I wanted to do was just play. I felt that they were there, but I didn't have enough, uh, not necessarily courage or strength, but interest. I didn't have enough interest. It was just, I was just too into what I was doing with the game to be concerned with people. That's, that, that happens. That's very bad when that happens. I think it's something, a lot of it has to come with aging and understanding that you are your own person at some point in your life. And you have to make your own decisions and you have to make your own choices. And you don't necessarily know all the time that the choices and the decisions you're making are always correct. You don't know. You use best judgment. But uh, you know, mistakes do happen still. You know, it's funny. New Jersey originally was a, uh, a Dutch Netherlands colony. And uh, the colonists, they bought it. And the colonists from New York, they bought New Jersey. And this was in the 14, 1500s, I believe. 
New Jersey was one of the first, it uh, was one of the 13 colonies, the original colonies. It was the, the, I believe, the second or the third or the fourth state to ratify the Constitution. Because what happened was in 1776 is when the Constitution was founded. And then years after, the individual states, they, uh, they ratified it. But prior to ratifying it, they were considered to be territories or they didn't have the, the official state government role that the United States Constitution pre prescribes or prescribed. I think the idea of a, of a constitution, not necessarily the U.S. Constitution, some countries have their own constitution, following some model of the U.S. Constitution, as I believe it was one of the first constitutions. At least using the word constitution. I know Russia has a constitution, but it might as well not even have one. <laughs> I'll just say that. Uh, anyways, I think I'm going to go. I'm quite tired. I'm going to just sit by myself for a little while and upload that video. Then I guess I'll just title it Campaign Progress and this one will be personal chat and uh, tomorrow hopefully is going to be another exciting adventurous day where I travel and I meet people and I do some things <laughs> okay. good night